we have arrived at Balumba Creek. Now, we've already crossed it a little bit. Uh, the people are all the way back there. The place we are, where we were going to go today is a bit packed. So we're gonna explore further down the creek system and see what we can find. Uh, and so far, we have already seen a snake, a, a carpet python. I estimate six foot over, probably. Uh, so that's a good sign. We just found this common tree snake moving around the public, uh, so we decided to pick him up and uh, move him down a little bit just to reduce any conflict between the two parties. Our plan today is to see what Conondale has to offer. There's an old gold mine with an interesting history which I'll touch on a bit later. Uh, there's creek systems with super clear water and amazing wildlife. There's something like 37,000 hectares of bushland to find and explore. Right here. Mm -hmm. This creek system is freaking awesome. The water is fabulous, and honestly, I think anyone should, should check this out. It's pretty decent access. The four-wheel drive track getting in here isn't that bad. There's toilets. Uh, I think there might be showers, uh, and you can camp here. Um, now we did just come across some people that were that were doing the, the no pants dance, uh, and uh, we had to circle back and around to get here. But we've seen a couple different species of fish, which are really awesome. Uh, yeah, um, we're, we're still going, we're still exploring. <laughs> Just got back to this point where we saw the snake just before. Uh, he's no longer there. That's where he was. Um, he is in a was in a pretty thoroughfare sort of section. The main action is down yonder. Uh, so likely someone has seen the snake and then either poked the frick out of it and annoyed it and caused a kerfuffle, uh, or it's just moseyed on, on its way. But there's not many places where it can go. That's where it was. It's not up in there, and it can't really have much places to go down there, so ideally and hopefully it went that direction. After checking out the Crystal Clear Creek, we are now driving up the mountain to check out the lookout.
these girls are squealing. Now this landscape did not always look this amazing. In the 60s there was a lot of logging that occurred and that decimated a large portion of the landscape. And then in 1987 the Agricola gold mine was purchased by a company called Asterix and construction on the mine site commenced. But the prospect of making millions did not last. The gold was starting to dry up and they couldn't afford to run the site. So they came up with the idea to bring trucks in from all over the place to be able to come in and process different kinds of ore in their high-tech location. But then the accident happened. A truck transporting cyanide up the roads near Kilcoy lost six overboard, two of which broke open and entered the waterways. And so because of that, in 1989, Asterix declared bankruptcy. In 1990, drilling was commenced. In the Balumba Creek area, readings over one part per million, which is enough to harm humans and kill wildlife, was found of cyanide. And in the Agricola gold mine area, 300 parts per million of cyanide was discovered. And that is absolutely insane. The road back to recovery took 15 months and $850,000 worth of funding to be able to correct the problem created by the cyanide. And now today we can love and experience the landscape and the waterways that the Conondale National Park has to offer. Also these bumps, I'm um, hoping that they uh, don't rattle away my uh, rotors. Howdy, one balloon! Ah! Frickin' heck, this bloody little kangaroo looking wallaby. parrot thing, not parrot, wallaby, uh, frickin' just flew out millimetres away from my front wheels. Alright, we've just pulled up at another campsite, uh, and well, obviously further down the road. Uh, we have no idea where we're really going, uh, but we found this little creek system here. Uh, it's semi clear, we're not as obviously as clear as Bulumba Creek, um, but it's still nice, and so I'm gonna go for a snorkel, uh, see if I can't find anything. Uh, or seen a turtle, couple uh, perch, uh, and it looks like blue eyes, specific blue eyes too, in the water just in front of me. Another defense mechanism as well, on the toes, is for them to use their tails as a whip. And he's got no tail now to whip and, and use as a defense, so he feels even more threatened and more vulnerable than he might usually feel.
from so many things that we didn't get to see, but there has also been a whole lot of things that we did see that we weren't exactly meant to see. But that's beside the point. Saw a bunch of wildlife, got to experience the underwater world. It was awesome. If you loved the adventure and you enjoyed watching, uh, chuck us a sub, and I hope to see you in the next adventure. Hopefully, this is Jimmy. Uh, we'll see what happens. Who knows what? Who knows what the 